Hey, okay, this is video number three for the foot fitness videos. The first video was the heels. The second video was front of the heel, which is the heel separator, um, heel foot separator. And then now this is the routine for the arch. Okay, it's the third routine in the series. All right, so let's go. First of all, let me show you where the arch is. Okay, most people think the arch starts in here, right, where the, where the foot lifts. And some people say, I don't have any arches. Well, this work helps you to get your arch back or at least get some strength in that arch area so you can get any arch that's possible for you. The arch actually starts on the outer edge of your foot. So we're gonna start on this outer edge, okay? Here's the placement. This is the ouchy one. You might, we're gonna do one foot at a time on this side because this is the one that really can be sensitive. So what I'd like you to do is place your foot, the side of your whole foot right on top of the waker and the waker is midway between the joint of your pinky toe and that little notch we worked earlier, okay? You just have your foot directly on top of it and you're right in the center for a second. You're gonna roll your foot open, really turn the ankle and get onto the side of your foot. So most of us have a little bit of a, a sole that kind of comes out, like peeks out. You wanna tuck that under, okay? So tuck it under, slide your foot to the outer edge of the waker, spread the toes, and then you're going to have a nice extension through the foot, okay? And then this is going to be, we're going to do one foot at a time because again, it can be sensitive. So from here, begin to push into the waker. I'm going to turn back around, hi Fletcher, go over there. I'm going to turn my foot back around just so you can see me from the front now. Same placement. Your foot's not going to move on this one, one foot at a time. Ride your horse. Bend your knee, press down into the waker, and just apply pressure down into your foot. Spread your toes, push down, and then we're just going to simply rock back and forth. You can do it as much sensation or as little as you can take. Rock your heel back to the floor, spread your, keep your toes spread, and then rock forward and try to touch the floor. Reach, 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 reach down, and touch your pinky toe down and your fourth toe down. Maybe even the third. Stretch, 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 point, point, point. And now lift the toes, rock down the side of that foot and drop your heel down any amount, right? The le that leg is straight, come back, to, come back to center, bend your knees, ride your horse, and now reach, 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 reach forward with the pinky toe down, the next toe, number four, number three even, and maybe even number two, as you kind of mold to the center of the waker. Now lift the toes, Roll back out to the outer edge and back, drop your heel. Lift your toes, one more time. Rock along the side of your, rock forward along the side of the edge. Pinky comes down, the next toe, the next toe, the next toe. Mold into the center, don't go to the big toe line. Stay center and then back out again. Rock back out again, rock across the side of the foot, drop your heel, lift your toes, spread, 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 and step off and feel. Okay, and then you just do the other side of the foot, just replay the video, okay? So that's lateral side of the foot, third exercise. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the fourth exercise, which is the ball of the foot.